Hello everybody, it's Old Shaziz here. I'm out here in my Mad Science Laboratory. I want to make a real short video here to uh, show off my little pop-pop boat. Let me uh, see if I can uh, roll this down and get you a closer look at it. Alrighty, see mine, mine is a little blue boat got a nifty little penguin on there. <laughs> anyway, uh, the uh, significance of this particular boat is the uh, is what it actually does it has a little mini boiler in there and essentially it's a really basic deal but uh, it's a unique old toy from way back and uh, so cultists a friend of mine desert experimenter are going to put together a contest using the the uh, concept of these pop pop boats to uh, looks like my wax stuck to to the deal there there we go ah has a little candle inside there has a little boiler and uh, you can you can look it up on YouTube you'll find a bunch of the different pop pop boats some of them call them putt putt boats or I don't know what the original name is but uh, it's either pop pop or putt putt either way it's a really neat little deal so with that said I get that thing lit oh there we go I think it's lit now it's gonna not work for me oh there it goes uh oh hmm there we go ah. how to get my candle under the boiler They're all nice and warmed up there. Yay! Now, when I first saw these things, I was amazed. I had a friend that came over and showed me a uh, old old book from way back. It's an old uh, chemistry book made made back in the 1800s, and they had all kinds of really nifty stuff in there about hydrogen and things that you wouldn't think about that they knew back in them days, but. Uh, while he was here, he had talked to me about these little toys called Pop Pop Boats. And uh, so with that said, got on uh, YouTube and looked up and seen that there's a lot of people out there that mess around with these as a hobby. Uh, the Canadians make some really nifty versions of them. But I see more to this Pop Pop Boat than uh, just playing around with a little toy. So... Um, Desert Experimenter and myself are going to put together a contest and we'll get a video up with all the uh, rules and stuff like that and uh, the prizes that we want to put together for everybody <clears throat> and we want to take and use this concept to make a wheel that will literally spin around in the water and produce energy at the same time. So with that said, uh, stay tuned and uh, if you're interested in getting into the contest there, we're going to have different categories and uh, we even want to try to see if we can't make one that's uh, literally big enough for a, a person to ride in. So, <laughs> it ought to be a lot of fun. You can see there's a nifty little deal, it's just uh, a little boiler running off of a candle, spinning around a circle and I was quite impressed. This bowl's kind of a little tight spin right here, but the video is the closest that I had for if you got uh, more room these things will really get up to speed I was quite surprised whenever I saw I thought it would be moving a lot slower than what it is but there it is I got it off of eBay it cost me three dollars and fifty cents plus about three something for shipping and so essentially about under eight bucks I had me one delivered and uh, there it is ah, pop pop put put whichever one you want to call it I just think it's really neat. Uh, old toys have a lot of science to them. And so if you know of any other old toys that uh, work off of that, either steam or like the Stirling engine, you know, we all know about little steam engines and Stirling engines, but I never, uh, until uh, my friend told me about this, never realized about this particular boat right here, or this particular toy. And uh, so here we go. We're going to spark off a contest, and there will be some really cool prizes for everybody, everybody who enters to win. And 
have a lot of fun doing it. So with that said, peace and love, everybody. Take care.